Hey guys, welcome back to Alec and Cook featuring Mama McManus. Hi, I'm Mama McManus. <laughs> That's a lot of M's. <laughs> And I'm Allie, and on today's episode of Allie Can Cook, we are going to be doing another taste test video for the Guardian Golden Fillets Fish Free Fish. Yes. So, <laughs> we are going to test it. Both my mom and I love fish and chips. Mm -hmm. It's one of our favorite meals, and it's something that's been kind of sad to have to give up the last couple of months. Yep. So when I saw these at Whole Foods, I thought, oh, that would be kind of interesting to try. And I'm just gonna put a disclaimer out there. We know that these probably aren't the healthiest things. I mean, on the packaging it says, it's only 180 calories, there's nine grams of protein, there's zero cholesterol, zero trans fat. But if Which you look- all good. Yeah, it's good. But if you look at the ingredients, what I usually go off of is if I understand the ingredients, then it's usually good for me. These ones I don't completely understand. So there's water, soy protein, expeller pressed canola oil, potato starch. Something you would can't <laughs> Yeah. The reason we're trying this is because not everybody I think is vegan or plant-based because like to get healthier. Some people are vegan and plant-based just because they agree with the ethical and environmental factors it has. Right. Finding an alternative that could kind of be a special treat every once in a while for fish and chips is exciting for me, which is why I wanted to try it out and we wanted to share it with you guys about what we thought of it. So that is what we're going to be doing today, Gardein Golden Fillets Fish. We're going to be making our own vegan tartar sauce to go along with it. And, and french fries. French fries. Yeah. Beans, french fries. Vegan. So I was expecting fish fillets that might be a little bit bigger than this. They kind of look like little nuggets, but I'm sure that they're going to be tasty once we um, cook them up. So we're going to put these in the oven at 425 and we're going to bake them for 12 minutes per side. So I'm just going to pop them into the oven now. So for the vegan tartar sauce, you're going to want to get one third of a cup of vegan mayo. Then you're going to want to add in two teaspoons of sweet relish. Then you're gonna to wanna to add in one teaspoon of yellow mustard. So, you wanna add in a half a teaspoon of lemon juice. Like so. Lastly, just a pinch of pepper. I'm just gonna kinda of eyeball a little bit here. And then you just want to mix it up. Alrighty guys, so that's how you make the fish and chips. Very easy. I mean, yeah, it took us probably what, 20 minutes to whip this all up. Just in the baking time, but the um, tartar sauce just took us seconds. seconds. It's yeah. pretty easy. So we're gonna dig in now all and right. try it out. You go first. <laughs> you go first. No, no. It so, smells like fish. The inside of it actually looks more like chicken to me than it does like fish. Really? Mm -hmm. But let's see. Very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That resembles fish and, fish and chips to me. Yeah, the crispy, the crispy outside does for sure. This is good in a pinch. Yeah, it's definitely the tartar sauce adds to the fish and chips feel. Also a little bit of lemon juice on top of it too. Malt vinegar on top, that would be tasty. And ketchup for my french fries. Yeah, I'm gonna get ketchup. I need to get ketchup. But anyway, this was good. Yeah, I definitely recommend if you guys are looking for a fish and chips alternative to get the Guardian fish and chips and try it out. I think this is a better dupe for fish and chips than the egg was for the scrambled eggs. And even though it might not be the healthiest thing, you know what, sometimes you just gotta treat yourself, guys. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you liked it and leave a comment down below if there's any other vegan products that you would like us to try out and let you know if they are yay or nay. And is this a yay? Yes, definitely two thumbs up. So keep watching us. Please subscribe to our channel. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next week. Bye guys. Bye.